I said I miss you so much But I'm doing better now I'm doing better now Girl, I said I miss you so much what is going on? It is OBZ from OBZBeats.com and we are doing the artist interview and today we are with Ryan King Tragedy all the way from Manitoba in Canada if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. What's going on my brother? My brother. What's What's going on? On? I'm looking beautiful on that screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, it. that's it. Okay, so let's break straight in. What age did you get into music or like the music industry as such? Uh, you know what? I started fucking around when I was 14. Uh, buddies started freestyling in the hallways and shit and I started jumping in with them. And uh, basically, got a little bit good at it. And, like, Okay, okay, that's what's up. So, this this is the kind of question should be first, really. It was a uh, where you decided you wanted to become an artist slash rapper. So was it in the hallway with your buddies when you were just kind of like freestyling and just like spitting bars? Girl, I said I miss you. Girl, I said I miss you. Yeah. Girl, I said I miss you so much. Bro, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. I'm going to try and move your post or something like that. Uh, my bad, man. Okay, say that one again. Yeah, so basically it was like uh, freestyling was fun. So then I started doing shows and the first show I did, it was really fun. So I remember I was like, you know what, man, I'm hooked on this. I want to keep doing it. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, what, what was it like at your first show? Like, you were just a little, take us back, man, take us all the way back, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was good? Can't hear you again, bro. Sorry, man. Sorry about that, bro. Uh, it was funny, man. One of my, I brought one of my exes to the show and I was really excited about it. And the entire time she was like, trying to psych me out. And uh, I remember getting so nervous, man. I was just like ready to die, right? I was like, hey, man, I can't even do this. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And finally, I jumped up there and everyone went nuts. Okay, okay, that's what's up. How many people do you reckon there were? I'm doing uh, you know what, on the first show, there was probably at least like 75 so people. It was an event called The Heads Up. Uh, it was at the Loft on Gordon in Winnipeg. And, uh, man, and man, it was fun. Okay, okay. That's what it is. That's what it is. So, who was the most, like, inspirational or more, like, most listened to artists when you were younger, like, growing up? You know what, it was probably a combination of, uh, probably a combination of Eminem and, uh, probably D12. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, I was just saying, but, shit, that's funny as fuck. Yeah, my mom fucking loved them, man. I was always listening to them. Yeah, no, real shit, it was real shit. They were good, they were good back in the day, man. D12 especially, they used to come with some fucking bangers, man. Absolute bangers. Oh man, they were the best. Nah, you're not lying, you're not lying. So, like, what are you most passionate about then? Uh, you know what, man, I just do this for my family. I'm just trying to make it so I can start helping out. Uh, I had a dark past, and I'm just trying to right my wrongs, you know. Prove some people wrong, try and keep going with this, and hopefully make a little bit of bread with it, too. No, I get you. I get you completely. I get you completely. I get that. It's all about, it's all about like, you know, it's all self expression, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. You know, I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm not trying to be greedy about it, bro. I'm just trying to get the cash where I can help out, you know? Yeah, no, of course. But also, there is a love for the music at the same time. There's got to be a love for the creat creativity and all the performance and everything else like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know what? I've always been close with music. I've always listened to music ever since I was young. So it's always been a part of my life. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, man, I used to write poetry and stuff like that. And I think that's how I kind of collaborated into music. Yeah, no respect. I get that one. I used to do the exact same thing. So I feel you on that one for real. 
I get that. I get that. So why do you make the music that you do then? So like, why don't you run these people through the music that you actually do? Because I, I know what kind of type of music that you actually do. They might do, so I'm saying it's just one of them. Uh, you know what, man? I just make real music. It's a uh, shit that goes on in my life, and I try and collaborate real things that are happening in the world into it too. Um, I got some stuff that's coming up that people are going to be really excited for. It's a whole new style, and it's really hype, man. Um, okay. That's also on an OBZ beat, so uh, I'm excited about that one. Yeah. It's gonna be good, man. No way, it's good. We got King Tragedy and Obezy on the it's fucking good. track. It's insane. King Tragedy and Obezy on the fucking track. It's insane. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited about this one. Whole new style, man, and it, it's completely different. Uh, this one, I don't really care what people think about me. I'm not gonna. Don't care if people judge me for it. I went all out on it, so. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta do those. Sometimes you just gotta let loose yeah. and show people yeah. the side Sometimes of you. Know, you, know, you yeah, exactly. And sometimes you got to put more energy into it too, right? Yeah. No, real shit. No, that's real shit. You can swear if you want to. This isn't getting monetized, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to say it, whatever you do, whatever. You can swear if you want to. This isn't getting monetized. No, I'm not trying to keep it clean, bro. Uh, happy days, happy days. So what rituals or routines do you have before writing or uh, tend to do? Uh, always smoke weed. Always. Always. <laughs> always. Yeah, always smoke weed. Uh, always. Yeah, you always have to roll some weed, smoke some weed. Uh, uh, I just like to relax, you know what I mean, man? I'll lay down for a little bit, sit there, play some beats, start freestyling a little bit, get it going. Once I got the energy flowing, man, it, it, it just, it almost feels like one sentence or a couple words will just get me going and then I'm inspired, right? Just keep going into it, keep going into it. And then I'll replay the beat, see if it fits replay the beat keep adding a couple words do it again and i just keep doing that process until i finally got it i never ever write a track and then try and find a beat and make it all choppy because it sounds like shit in the end i always make yeah. sure everything's on point yeah no i get you i get you some people do it in the opposite you know what i'm saying they, they might write the verse the verses first and whatever i got one guy that everyone's got their process you know Everyone's uh, everyone's got their process and everyone's got their rituals to it, right? You know, uh, I just find for me that's always worked best, and I'm gonna keep doing my way, you know. Okay, no, I get you. No, I get you completely. So, like, did you ever have anybody help you in regards to like, you know, learning to like freestyle or rap or anything like that, or did you just, you know, did you pick up by yourself? Uh, oh, of course, man. Uh, my buddy Kalen, shout out Kato. Uh, my homie Kalen ended up challenge me all the time man. and he would fucking challenge me hard like he would throw words at me all the time and he would tell me okay go fast now go slow stop chop it up do a choppy flow fucking go hard be aggressive do this like he would always make me do different things in freestyles and always fucking do it right on the spot right so i had no choice but to be good and then it came to the point where like i was winning freestyle battles and shit and it came to the point where now people think I'm good at it, right? So I have to be fucking good at it. So now my yeah. freestyles are like a part. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know you're pretty heavy in the. You're, you're pretty, pretty heavy, heavy battle rapper. Fucking. Pretty heavy battle. Battle. Oh, you probably still are now. I know you got some mean bars hidden away. You know what? I'm not really under the battle. I'm not really under the battle scene anymore, man. Uh, not my thing. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to make some music and make some money. Yeah. No, I get you, man. Do what I love. No, of course, of course, of Make course. Make a career out of this. No, of course, of course, of course. No, that's real. That's real right there. But, um, so, are there any resources that you have used that have helped you advance in your career? So, like, anything that, that you've come across that's helped you to, like, I don't know, maybe pick up more shows or do better with, um, I don't know, potentially growing fan growing your fan base or something like that do you know what I'm saying that you could let like uh, some secret source go to some of these new artists do you know what I'm saying you were trying who aren't like fucking you know, bullshit rappers and shit like that do you know what I'm saying uh, you know what I would definitely uh, I would definitely register and sign up with SoCan and if you can register with Manitoba Music I'm going to be registering with them pretty soon if you're from Manitoba of course um, if not 
I would end up looking more online for some assets that are going to help you like towards distribution. Yeah. Um, you could do distro kid, which is probably going to be one of your better resources. Yeah, definitely. It's, definitely. I believe it's 20 bucks for a year and you can up, upload unlimited amounts of tracks and collect all hundred percent of your royalties. Yeah. So that would be the best way for you to go if you want to start distributing. Okay. No, I definitely agree with you on that one. 100%. Oh, sheesh, man, it's getting late over here. I'm not good. <laughs> so what would you say is your best music quality? Um, for me, probably just the way that I rhyme, man. I have a unique style. Uh, my flow is different, and I try and keep everything on point all the time. Of course. You know, some tracks are better than others. Some people feel tracks different than others. So it's yep. not like every single track someone's going to be like, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah. Some tracks people are going to feel, some tracks people aren't, right? So it's part of business. No, I get you. I get you. Okay, okay. So like, is it like the way that you structure your, structure your beats and think, what, your tracks and stuff like that with like flow patterns and things or... I try and do something different every track. You know what I mean? It's like you can't do the same thing over and over again. And sometimes I'll incorporate old things and try and put them into new things and see how they sound. Uh, most of the time I just end up, you know, it sounds good. Ends yeah. up being creative. It's a little bit different and people end up liking it. So. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. My fucking phone. Turn this off. So what do you wish you knew now when you started back in the day doing rapping and freestyles and all this type of stuff? Uh, I wish I would have known how to distribute my music, uh, collect royalties off of it from the start, um, yeah. invested a little bit more money into it than I have in the past. Okay. You know, I've made a few risks that okay. were, uh, were crucial and ended up making mistakes and then... Yeah. I ended up jumping back from them, but now I'm on a path where I'm not going to let it hit me anymore. You know, I'm going to just keep going. Even if I make a mistake here and there, I'm just going to bounce out, uh, bounce back from it and just keep going. Yeah, no, I get you completely. It's one of them things. We all learn lessons in this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like anything in life. You learn your lesson, then you move on, you improve, like real shit. Okay. Yeah, life's going to hit you harder than anything, man. Oh, yeah. No, that's real. <laughs> that's real. People don't have a clue. Some people don't anyway. But anyway, so how do you feel about your music and people's, like, engagement towards your life? Uh, you know what, man? Honestly, I don't really write my music towards other people. I try and write it for myself. Like, it's almost like every single time I play one of my tracks, you got that perfect song for the moment you're dealing with. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm trying to direct my music a bit more towards people, something people can relate to instead of just writing about myself all the time. I don't want to be selfish. I mean, I know I'm somewhat pretty, but. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Okay. So like, like how do people like engage with you? Like, what kind of feedback do you get? What do they say? You know, and then so far I've been getting positive feedback. Sometimes you get, uh, you know, you should have done this, you should have done that, and uh, sometimes I don't give a fuck what people say. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Uh, it's just, some it's people have good feedback, and yeah. you know what? It, some people are uh, give constructive feedback, and some people are just jealous of you and give you feedback because they just want to make you feel like you ain't doing good. Yeah. So. And you got to watch yeah. out for that too, right? Like when you sit there and you talk about success and people are hating on you for it, you got to watch out for that. Even your friends will do that to you, man. So. Oh, yeah. No, that's real. No, that's really yeah, real. That's real. I, I know that one. I know that one for sure. It's those people that you want to push away. You know what I'm saying? It's all those people who are actually giving you. Yeah, get them out of your circle, man. Cut the snakes out of the grass, man. Oh, yeah, 100%. Just fucking light the whole thing on fire. You know what I'm saying? Burn them. Yeah, that's right. It's real shit. So do you have any projects going on at the moment? And, uh, you know, if you do, how are you feeling that they're going? You know what I'm saying? At the moment, I do have a project going on. Um, I'm possibly going to be doing something for Halloween. I'm going to be trying to throw on an EP where it's a little bit crazy and psycho on the flow. Uh, do a little bit of killer shit. 
make it sound crazy. Uh, I'm going to try and drop a video. I ain't making no promises. See if it's in the budget. Um, yeah. But try and get that done for Halloween around there. And I'm going to drop a three track EP for Halloween and call it Murder Series. Um, okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking gonna about. going to have bro. something crazy involved with it. Now. Okay. Okay. Well, I look forward. I, I do hope something yeah, gets I'm happening for real. Like, I really do. It's going to be interesting. I know that for sure. Even if, even if just for the track anyway, it's something that's just completely different. I know how versatile you are as an artist, you know what I'm saying? I've been using for a little bit a little bit now, so it's just one of them. Oh, it's it's just uh it, it's definitely gonna be interesting, man. I'll I'll leave it at that. Okay. No, that's good, that's good. Don't give too much away. That's it. Just give a little slice of the cake. No, exactly. Man. Yeah, man. I'm just letting people know they should keep their eyes open. Okay, okay, respect. So, where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Spotify. Um, my Facebook, King Tragedy Music. Spotify is King Tragedy. You can find me on Deezer. You can find me on Snapchat at King Tragedy 19. Um, you know what, man? I'm basically everywhere right now. I'm on Twitter, King Tragedy Music. You can find me there. <laughs> That's it. I'm trying to get this Hard beautiful game. face across the globe. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's getting there, bro. Bit by bit by bit by bit. Real talk. Exactly, man. It's one step at a time. You just got to keep going and going and going. No, that's real. That's real. Well, thank you very much, Mr. King Tragedy, for joining us on the OBZ Beats Artist interview this evening. Massive, massive thank you. And uh, yeah, man. No problem. We're going to get this pumped out soon, get these people know what's going on in Manitoba over that way. But yeah, man, a massive, massive thank you to everyone else who's been checking in. Stay um, tragic. That's the one, stay tragic. Obesity on the beat. Yeah, I can't see. Smoking herbal till I can't achieve all my dreams and change reality for everyone. I heard I'm truly sorry. But it is what it is, guess it is what it had to be. I feel my family.